Okay. So, uh, following our update, what we're going to do is uh, do another Hello World. This time we're going to do it in um, C++ Builder. And um, we're going to do a multi-device application. That means Windows 32-bit, Windows 64-bit, plus Mac 64-bit, and then Mac with the new um, M1 chip. So again, that's still pretty cutting edge. The VCL is just Windows 32-bit. That's their old uh, framework. This new framework was originally built off of uh, FireMonkey. We're going to talk to do a blank application. And we get a form here. You can see my resolution is kind of high. I'm trying to make sure you can see all the, uh, the fonts. Um, so we may have to scroll some of this. And then at the top here, you can have Windows. When we choose to deploy, when we run it, you can select uh, Mac as well. Um, at least that's the way you can do it on Delphi. So we're going to go down here to the palette. Um, we're going to do a T-Edit. And these, for some reason, these aren't in alphabetical order. I don't know why they did that. So you have to search for them or just find them. And I've also noticed they don't stick on the palette where you put them. They just kind of seem to go where they want. But for this Hello World, we're going to do a button. We're going to do a label and we're going to do an edit. And what will happen is you'll type Hello World or something in the edit. Um, we'll click on the button and then it will show up in the label. So again, we've got some code that uh, has been written in the, the background by C++ Builder. And right now there's just a form owner uh, code for that. Here's the, uh, the header. Um, but there's no, there's no code for a button click. So to have it generate that code, uh, we just double click on button one and it creates that object for us. So again, um, we have a button, we have a, a label, and with the label, what we want to do is we want to update the text. I want to make sure this is not caption. It used to be caption, but it is text. So uh, we'll go over here and we'll go label one, just like it says uh, right here, label one. And then we use this to reference um, the attribute text. And we're going to do an assignment operator. And then what we'll do is we'll get the edit button. And again, I want to make sure this isn't a uh, caption. Uh, I think it's going to be text. Scroll down here. I don't want that. Um, it looks like it is text. So we'll say from here, edit one, get the attribute. This is unique to C Builder. Normally you just do a period for C. And this should do it. So I'll go ahead and hit run. And here you can see Windows 32 bits, 64 bits. So I'm not seeing Mac. So it looks like C++ Builder is Windows only where Delphi also does Mac 64 bit and it does the M1 chip. So that's, that's news that Delphi does more than C++ Builder. We'll let this compile. Just doing quite a bit there, linking. Okay, here's our form. Hello world. Traditional. And, and there we go. 
So again, not that much has changed, but I am surprised to see that uh, C++ Builder supports less hardware than Delphi. They've really been investing in Delphi and maybe are just kind of sustaining C++ Builder. So that's kind of, that's kind of interesting. So uh, we'll keep going on in the videos, doing a comparison between the languages, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks and talk to you. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.